Hey everybody, welcome back to another part of Luminous Arc 2 for the Nintendo DS. I'm the only Pi24, and this is a slice of gaming, of course. So based on what happened last time, you're probably wondering, Copen Valley Hot Spring Tour? As if the name didn't give it away, but after you fight a few battles in the Hot Spring side quest, you have the option to talk to one of your three characters. Ignore the um, arrow that's underneath the chest region, I think that's just a glitch. But anyways, let's talk to Karen so you can see what you're looking forward to when you complete Hot Springs. What a nice spa. Yep. It's a bit run down, though. What are you talking about? This place is great. Great? No way! This is like a duck pond compared to the spa my family once owned. Your house had a spa? Yeah, we had a huge mansion years ago. It was like a castle. Wow. After my father died, it was confiscated by the government. Let's not touch on that landmine. It must have been really nice if you call this a duck pond. Of course it was. You could hold a championship swim meet there. I see. It's so big, I almost drowned. I don't see how the size has anything to do with that. Whatever, it was huge. Okay. I may be a thief now, but I'll have a house like that soon. With enough energy and determination, I'm sure you will. Hey, trying to smooth talk me won't get you anywhere. Huh. Yes, it will. Alright, so for now, I'll just go back and prepare, aka we're going back to the world map, and I'll do more of those off-camera. But for now, we're gonna go back to plot, aka let's chase after Barbara some more. Because that's, you know, the most exciting part in this entire game, is chasing after this character. It's amazing that an island could just pop out of the ocean. This land wasn't here before. The island was sunk 4,000 years ago to hide the conclusion gate. It's where the facility Elysia used for her experiments was. That kind of doesn't make sense, the sentence I mean. The structure is weird. You sealed off an entire island? The sealing power of Kanaba Castle is very strong. That's crazy. Even if we get all the witches together, we can't seal it. You shouldn't have to if the Grand Seal is activated. It should be able to reseal the Conclusion Gate. Can someone explain what the Grand Seal is? Kanova Castle itself can act as a giant seal spell as a last resort. Only the Queens have the power to activate the spell. I wonder what kind of energy source a spell like that large needs. If we could apply that power to mechanical applications, ooh! Will you knock it off, you gearhead? Do you know why we are called the Grand Kingdom? Because it's larger than all the other countries in the world? No, that's not it, you idiot. I mean, it's because this land is where our own civilizations came from. Wow, really? Luna, stop being so dopey. You're embarrassing me as a witch. So what's so special about the land here? There's a giant ma magical energy reservoir underground here. Magical heritage sites have them as well, but this is the largest. Magical energy reservoirs? The Grand Seal uses the reservoir here as its power source. Oh, so Master Rowan didn't know about it either. I'm not a witch or a queen. Why would I know about it? Because you're the master now. You have to know these things. You need to learn about the world if you're going to be a leader. I haven't exactly had a lot of spare time since I became the master. Well, after we save the world, I'm going to force you to study. Ugh, I hate book learning! Book learning is hard. The source of magical power. Anyway, this energy creates magic and make makes life what it is today. I see. That's not only part of the or that's only part of the truth. Our nation is also known as the Sealed Kingdom. I've never heard of that. Well, it's not a common moniker, but it's true. Did you know that, dear? Of course I did. I'm the leader of the Magic Association. 
so we use this magic energy, but don't know where it comes from. Just as the moon affects the tides, even we can't see it. Our lives are changed by forces we can't perceive. Keeping the conclusion gate shut is more important than that. AKA, just forget about that plot point for now. What's wrong, LT? I don't feel like talking right now. Please leave me alone. Huh? LT? If I thought I might be a beast fiend, I'd feel down too. I can't believe she's really a beast fiend. It may very well be true. If my spells were off, Alti may turn into something like Barva. No. Are you okay with having a beast fiend in your party? What? Yeah, you never know when she'll turn into a monster, Meow. Stop that. Alti's not a monster, she's our friend. He's right, Fatima. You shouldn't talk like that. I never trusted anyone but Master Matthias and Josie. Friends. Fatima. Hey, everybody, we're almost at the conclusion gate. I'm back, Miss Alicia. It's been 4,000 years. Good. After wasting a whole bunch of time when we could probably be attacking Barva, let's actually go to the conclusion gate. And also, you'll notice the gate is in the background there. Barba. Oh no, Barba's already placed the demon blade in the gate. Maybe we shouldn't have wasted so much time. Is it too late then? Not yet. He has to decode some minor enchantment to open the door. We should probably go there. We have to hurry, run everyone. And so we did. Oh hey, it looks exactly like the place that we were at with Matthias. Barba. Gotta. Gra. Goodo. Oh no, he's turning yellow! Which means, uh, who knows what exactly. Oh no, the gate is about to open, even though it looks like it already. I don't know, can't we do anything? I imagine he found out how to open it while hiding his Wendell. Good, uh, good. The conclusion gate is unlocked. And. Just imagine it's getting unlocked, I guess. Yes, it opened. I've done it. And so it... Oh, okay, there we go. That's that's slightly better. No, the world is going to be taken over by Beast Fiends. The Grand Seal hasn't activated yet. Please, Queen Sophia. I've heard that it takes several hours to make preparations. Ayano, can't we do anything? You know, there are options. Ah, pull up the demon blade. That will slow him down. Or stab him. You know, it'll buy us some time. Right, we're going after Barva. <laughs> she didn't even say that. Got it. Pull up the demon blade. Pfft, whatever. The conclusion gate has opened and this world's doom draws nigh. Do any of you think you stand a chance against me? With the ray of Artana, my powers increase tenfold. Gra. My powers are increasing, and I get wings and an extra pair of horns. What? He transformed? Wow, wings! Behold the power of an immortal. <laughs> Yikes! What a laugh, meow! That is not a mere laughter of overconfidence. That is the laugh of one who has achieved complete satisfaction. Good talk. No matter how strong you are, we will defeat you. We'll fight for this world. Well, since we wasted a whole bunch of time talking about, you know, our problems and stuff, this is a good time to, you know, actually uh, go and fight Barbara, maybe? And now we get to see his brand new sprite complete with wings and horns. There, even the game thought of to give that in its actual sprite. How clever of them. Who's ready for another one of these battles? Let's go! So going back a little bit to the uh, hot spring stuff, um, I'm not sure if there's any interest in doing all the scenes. I kind of don't feel like it because it'll be a lot of back and forth work, but hey, if there's interest, you know, 
Leave me a comment and say you want to see more swimsuits and fan service. Alright. Just because, you know, that's that's what all of these kinds of games seem to have for some reason, especially when you know it's the anime art style. It's gotta have some kind of a fan service, right? You gotta have fan servicey things. You don't need to, but of course you have to, because pff, why why wouldn't you, right? I mean swimsuit seats, please. I'm pretty sure you can also get the uh male members of the party in, in in there as well. So, you know, something for the ladies, something for the men, something for just about everyone of every interest. How thoughtful of them, I guess. So moving along, um of course I'm not gonna show off all of the hot spring battles because that would just take way too long and you're really not missing literally anything. There is nothing to miss when it comes to that, th those scenes. It's just, or the battles rather. You just fight Copen, which I guess are new units, I suppose, but that's that's literally all you're going to miss is, oh man, look at these Copen units, aren't they cool? They cast really bad spells and they're easy to kill. Oh no. So it's a good place to, you know, level up because the Copens are weak and you can just easily heal up the amount of damage that you get, so nothing too terribly exciting, I guess. Another thing that I've done is I've leveled up everyone that I want to use, so everyone's pretty much, you know, fully good to go here. They've got new equipment from the place where you can get the uh, guild requests, something I completely and totally forgot to bring up uh, during the last battle with Barma, I think it was. It's been like a week since I've, you know, recorded this, of course, and, you know, I've been busy with work and stuff. So I haven't been able to uh, record or upload, and I apologize for that. But anyways, getting back to what I was talking about before, I what I'll probably do when it, in regards to the hot spring stuff is I'll probably do the battles and then show off uh, when the cameo character comes in. We can do that fight with her instead. So yeah, that's kind of probably how far I will take it, and that that's about it. And also, as I mentioned, I did some guild requests. There's some new items and equipment for everyone. And you may have noticed in the when we were picking out our characters to fight as in this battle, two people are missing, aka the two people the Queen promised us that we would get help from, Gaston and Richter. I don't know when they come in, but I've been getting equipment for them during our my guild stuff, so uh, yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea when they'll become playable. I thought they were going to be playable right away, but apparently not the case. I gotta wait some some more time. I gotta wait longer until I get both of them, I guess. Even though, as I said, I got equipment for both of them during one of my side quests. I got this cool, awesome lens that I thought maybe uh, Rosh can use. But for some reason, even though they're both lens users, Rosh can't use it because I guess it's a, that's too big of a stick. I don't know. That's just an answer I'm gonna make up. It's too big of a stick for Rosh to carry, I guess. Or whatever. And, uh, you know, I've equipped new Lapiste days on everybody, too. Which means everyone's nice and strong, so... You may have noticed when it was Karen's turn, uh... She has a Lapiste. Look at that attack power I gave her! So much! So good! I leveled up other party members, too, including Dia, Sadie... Pop... Uh, people that I may switch in and out with uh, other characters. Depending on what I feel like. That all depends. Who do I feel like using? Can she reach from over here just naturally? No, because tight, I guess. Alright. Well, I guess I can just shoot this thing in the face and get rid of it. And so he shall. So yeah, she's a tough. She's awesome. And yeah, she, uh, as I mentioned, she's become one of my favorites now because of that flying shell range. It's so good. And I had to give him all that attack too, right? I mean, you just kind of have to. Regen has basically healed her, so I'm going to just sit over here and wait for things to happen. So in Barva's next turn, I'm going to point out something too. Look at the DP. Look at the DP. He has the potential to immediately use a flash drive. But here's a secret that I'm going to tell you. Guys, okay. Now don't tell all those other people that aren't watching this. I mean, pfft. you wouldn't want to give people free tips for not watching, right? He has potential to use level two flash drive now, and when somebody has the potential to do that, y'all know what that means. That means someone's gonna die. That person is 
probably going to be Roland. I'm just going to, you know, foresee into the for in the future and just guess that. But it'll probably be him. And so there's literally no way to prevent it because it attacks by over, like, over a thousand damage, at least. And nobody in my entire party, I think, has that much HP. I'm pretty sure not even Rosh does, who has pretty high HP growth. Maybe one of the two, Rector and Gaston, who's obviously not here yet, do. But yeah, nobody has that high of a attack power quite, or of HP quite yet, so yeah, someone's gonna die. But we have three people hanging around here who can easily take care of any sort of reviving that I have to do, which is kind of nice. You know, we've got Alti, strangely, who has who's the one person with the full heal spell. Or full, excuse me, uh, revival spell, I was trying to say before. <coughs> Choking, there we go. Gotta get the cough out. Sorry for the cough, but it has to come out. Anyways, let's a flying shell him in him her him she man woman child in the face. I, won't miss. I know you won't, cause I give you a bunch of paladin spirits and a high tech lapis as well. So your tech is good. Everything's good. Everything's awesome forever. Meanwhile, oh, someone has come forward, Barbara, with all that HPs. And of course we're gonna it's gonna take a while for us to kill him because of all that HP is for real. Something that I always find is a nice little advantage that the bosses have. They can use flash drive immediately, but me mm -mm, nope, nope, I gotta wait. Blood hate. Oh, that's is the give me HP spell. Right. Huh, almost equal to the amount that he took. At least it's something that I can easily take care of. Can I do a thing? Let's find out if I can do this thing. Can I crescent slash a nothing? Oh, I can too, good. I wasn't sure if I could or not, but you know, now that I can, it's good to know. Alright, going back to what, what, what was I talking about before? Um, did some guild stuff, as I mentioned. Uh, new items at the store where you get uh, guild requests. Brought that up. Everyone's good to go and powerful, and yeah, that's about it guess there's not much else to bring up the things that I did, other than that. Just got myself prepared. It's always good to over-prepare yourself. Here I am. And... Oh, something I wanted to bring up with the plot. It's, uh, you know how Barb was like, Oh, Alti, you're a beast fiend. How come Alti isn't getting super-powered from this stupid ray of Artana crap? How come he's the only one who gets the benefit from this, huh? Mm hmm yeah, Your take service. that, plot points. Anyways, that bothers me. Cause it's like, oh, you get powered up, and she's a peace fiend, so therefore, she should also get the benefits, you but no. No, of course not. But, uh, what else? I think that's about death it that I... Oh no, death to humans, that means he's doing a thing! <sighs> and, you know, he still has nothing, nothing new. To say, even though he's like a brand new spanking guy, I guess. He's got his cool wings and his cool horns. I feel like more effort could have been done. You could have at least change this color, man. Change that color. That's what they do whenever bosses get super bad. They change form, sometimes they change colors, you know. I really, really wish she had a freaking multiple attack hitting thing because that would be fantastic right about now. But she doesn't, so I'll just shoot things in the face. Good. Get out of here. I might as well stay in this little area since uh, Barbara's over there and she's all the way over here, so good to keep out of the range of things. Nice to have regen. His, his restore doesn't do as much as uh, uh, Pip's regen spell, so something to note, I guess. That's not even remotely interesting. Let's see, so all of my magic up stuff has worn up on everybody, so that's that's all fine and good, whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's just uh, start attacking Barbara here, bringing down his HP as we get some um, DP for ourselves. And then we can use our flash drive against him too and just murder him. So also a word of caution, there's going to be a uh, monster, one monster, just one, which is nice. Super nice, super kind, thank you for only making it the one. One reinforcement will come from uh, behind here, and it's a Toad X! 
I'm not sure why RPG games do this, but every time the strongest form of something, I know Breath of Fire series does this a lot, they add the letter X in after and just, I don't know, maybe it makes it more edgy and cool. I, I honestly have no idea. Roland, you're gonna need some help here soon. Does she really have to go that far? Let's see. Yeah, probably. Who cares though? Roland's probably gonna die in a few minutes anyways if as soon as that uh, full flash jet comes. Somebody's gonna die, regardless of who, uh, who who's gonna do it. It's just somebody's gonna die. That's the that's the whole. That's all. That's all you can say is someone's gonna die. And all you could do is you could prepare for it the best you can. Okay, he doesn't have level two flash drive quite yet though, so that's kind of nice. I still have some time. You can count on in the meantime, I should get everyone uh, a little bit more separated here, just because you know that breath spell too powerful. Death to Where are you going? Oh, he's attacking all three. Good. And of course you had to change where you were, so now she can't go where I wanted her to go. But that's fine. That's why we have Flying Shell. That's why we have such high attack power. Now you're going to get it. And somehow she's like spurting out loop lines that I haven't heard before. I don't know why, what caused it. Maybe it's the whole... Uh, doing her side quest? I, I doubt it. Alright, well we might as well engage with Miss Helty here. Get our attack up, get that good to go. And then maybe we can flash drive for a sweet, sweet victory. Or part of a sweet, sweet victory. Now's a good time to start spamming flash drives. So let's go. Uh, do you know what? That does almost a quarter his health. Or maybe a little bit more than, or I guess less than half. A third. A third of his health is gone now. Good. Good. Perfect. Thank you. There's Toad X. Oh, look at you. You, you, to Toad X, you. It's about time. About that thing. I'm just gonna worry about killing Barba as soon as humanly possible, and then maybe nobody will have to die for it. That'd be really nice. Die! It'd be really, really, really super nice if I could not get a death. Not that it matters, it doesn't really count for how well you do. You don't get a ranking at the end of this game. But you know, it's just that satisfaction of, I did it. Does somebody go after Alti? Okay, you do, but you don't have a flash drive, sir. Miss. Sir, Miss. Sir, Mrs. Can this work? No, that's not gonna kill. That's not gonna kill him. Oh, I guess I should go closer. It's for me to white flare. I'm worried because no, that's not gonna reach either. Here instead, I guess. At least the nice thing about his flash drive is that uh, it only targets one person, so that's kind of nice, I guess. I just, I'm just using everything I got. I'm just throwing all the things at him, so hopefully nobody will die. How much health you got left? How much damage will this do? Questions that we need answers for. Only 18? What is wrong with you, Luna? Seriously, why? 99? I guess because his resistance is so high, but jeez. Alright, well, anyways. I can't prevent somebody from dying, sadly, because somebody sucks. They have no health. Or they have no uh, magic, uh, apparently not high enough anyways, to do anything on him. So good. Good good stuff. Somebody's gonna die now. Yep. Who, who would have thought it was gonna be Roland? I guess the nice thing is that uh, you get to see his new picture at the top there that has his wings and horn. You know, that's always nice, I guess. Come on. Protect everyone. Well, you're not gonna do that if you're dead, so, you know. Well, I guess the nice thing is, is before Karen just shoots Your him in the face, I can, uh... Oops. I can, uh, revive him. There. We'll put you, put you in the corner. Why not? You and then Toadex won't be able to do a damn thing to help. He'll just be, he'll just be sitting around and being useless. We might as well do this because we can. Thorn Rain, Overkill, why not? Let's go. I guess in hindsight I should have done this before, but whatever. Good stuff, Karen. You're the best. Actually, she's at the most damage out of everyone, even though that was level 2. Imagine that potential, though. Oh, I'm getting excited. Good, victory. 
Now, how might you want to guess, again, that uh, he's going to be like, Oh no, I'm st super powerful. You're going to have to uh, chase after me some more. <laughs> ha, take that, Barba, and you call yourself an immortal. He's not dead. Fools, you think you've won. This world is almost linked to the world of Artana. In Artana, my life is everlasting. Which should apply to Alti too, in theory, but probably won't. He's healing. Good. Oh, that's not all. My powers are growing. You are mere worms when compared to me. Take this. Ha! Huh. Oh, everything's going gray. Which means... Nothing, I guess. What power? He's even stronger. That of a black fire. Are you hurt? Are you suffering? Your screams will be the hymns to welcome Elysia back to this world. That's enough, Barba. You don't belong in this world. Oh, really? I won't let you destroy us all without a fight. Which makes no sense. How is that even possible? But okay. Would that work? The power of the runic engine can open the gate. But then, Master Matthias went and did most of my work for me. He thought he could defeat me and fill the demon blade with souls. That was exactly what I needed to open the gate the proper way. <laughs> and what will you do with your crystal arm? Bash him on the head. Bash him on the head. No, Steiner! Don't do it! You'll overload the engine! Steiner! No! still alive. As long as Artana exists, my body is everlasting. The conclusion gate will give me strength. Something's not right. Nothing's happening. Why is this happening to me? The energy from the conclusion gate is being held back. I sense a powerful sealing force reaching out from the land. It's the Grand Seal! Queen Sophia's activated it! So this is really the end for you, Brava. Prepare for death! Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. Again? Why? Go! 
Ugh. My defeat means nothing. Your world will still die. Ugh. That's it? Wow. Okay, good. That is how a true knight... That is how a true room knight acts. Room. Steiner! Brother! Steiner! Wake up! Brother! Open your eyes! Bro <sighs> Steiner! Rina, I've gotten revenge for Mom and Dad. Brother! Stay with me, brother! I was strong, wasn't I? Yes, you were strong. You're great! To be the strongest, so I could protect Rena. Had to be the best. Had to save Rena. Brother! I've done my best, but this is it. I'm sorry, Rena. Brother! Don't give up! Here. Steiner! Your pendant! No! Rena. I only wanted you to be happy. Steiner! Brother! No! Steiner! <sighs> Steiner! Such a noble death. Look, the conclusion, Kate. What? It's moving again. Can the Grand Seal keep it closed forever? If we weren't the if it weren't the Grand Seal, it would have opened already. But what can we do if it's going to reopen again eventually? We have to stop it from the inside now. There's nothing else we can do? Well, remove the Demon Blade from the Conclusion Gate. Okay, the Demon Blade seems to be less powerful now. Yay. That's odd. I'll try to seal the gate with magic then. Chrono, chrome, chrome. Cran, Clart. There! This will hold it temporarily. For how long? Maybe two days. Maybe less. That's it? Yes, if we don't end this by then, the world we know is doomed. End this? What can we do? Steiner already killed Baba. Who's left? Um, I'm pretty sure this has been stated a million times, but the real enemy behind the gate, Elincia, the Mage Queen. The Mage Queen? She's the reason behind the Beast Fiends exist at all, isn't she? Yes, they created through her experiments. To stop her, we'll have to enter the Conclusion Gate ourselves. That's right. Then we have to hurry. If we wait, the world may die. No. What? We need to go back to the castle and prepare for this battle. There's no way we can win if we charge in right now. We can't? The Mage Queen is too powerful. We need protection from her. Protection? I will cast special protective magic on you. However, I'll need more time to prepare these spells. Fine, we'll head back to the castle and let you do that. Steiner needs to be buried. Yeah. Steiner, you were... You were an idiot. The kingdom has lost a great scientist and a hero. Alright, with that, back to the palace. Or is it? Oh, I guess we're just there. So anyways, I'm going to end this part off right here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.